Hey everybody, it's Rich with Haste. I'm super excited to tell you about a new feature we just released for our Haste Pro users. It's called the Haste HUD. The Haste HUD is a heads-up display, and it displays your network telemetry across the Haste network. While the Haste HUD does display your real-time latency and jitter over the Haste network, it might be a little different from what the game displays, because the game displays the total time over the network and through the game server. I should also mention that the Haste HUD doesn't work in full screen mode. So in order to see the Haste HUD, you have to change your game mode settings to either borderless window mode or windowed mode. Keep watching to learn more about this Haste Pro feature, the Haste HUD. To turn the Haste HUD on, first you start by clicking the settings. Then you click the Haste HUD button. Here you'll see a new menu with Haste HUD specific settings. Here you can enable the Haste HUD, change the Haste HUD size, change the transparency of the Haste HUD, and lock and unlock so you can reposition the HUD as necessary. Probably the best way of showing you how to use it is to first turn it on, and then start a game. All right, here we have a game. Our game has started up, and we are in the firing range. And as you can see on the upper left corner of the screen, we now have the Haste HUD up. The Haste HUD is telling us that we are playing Apex Legends, and we are currently connected to Dallas. I'm in the firing range now, so I don't bother anybody's gameplay. And the latency across the network from Atlanta, where I am currently located, to Dallas is about 18.6 milliseconds. So if I jump back to the lobby real quick, I can show off some of the features. Let's go back to the lobby. So here we are back at the lobby and you can see we are still connected to Apex Legends and you can see our latency and our real-time jitter. If I want to have maybe a sharper contrast for that, I can pull up the Haste client and I can play with the settings. So notice that while we are in the lobby or whenever very low amounts of game traffic are, are detected, the messaging changes. First, I can toggle the haste HUD on and off using the on and off buttons. You can see there it moves away. I can also reposition the HUD. So say I prefer it here for this game or for some games it's in better places. For Apex, I kind of like it right here because the map will show up above it. I can change the size so I can make it a little larger so it's a little easier to see. I can also change the background so I can have a semi-transparent background, which I'll probably just leave it in this mode now. And I can lock and unlock the Haste HUD. So what that means if I lock it, the grip goes away and I can't click on the HUD anymore and it's sort of a permanent fixture in the game. If I unlock it, the grip appears and then I can drag and move the HUD around accordingly. If the HUD gets lost, I can always click the reset haste HUD position. That will pop it up in the upper left corner so that you can find it and you can move it where you like. All right, that's pretty much the uh, entirety of how to use the haste HUD. One thing that I probably need to let you guys know is that the haste HUD only works in borderless windowed mode or windowed mode. It cannot work in full screen mode. So to show you quickly, what I mean by that is if we go into the settings of Apex here and we go to the video settings, you'll see that I'm in borderless window mode. The game is in fact full screen, but it is not in full screen mode. If I go to full screen mode, it will actually hide the HUD. The HUD is not a part of the game, so therefore you need to keep your game in borderless window mode. All right, that was the Haste HUD. Feel free to contact us with questions or any feedback at support at haste.net or visit our Discord, discord.gg slash haste. Thanks, everybody. GG.